Okay, we want to add some physics to our Lyra weapons. Uh, so we'll show you what our end result is here. And before I have way too much fun doing that, we'll show you how it all works. Uh, so the first place we want to look is our GA weapon fire, which is buried inside content and weapons in your standard Lyra. Open GA weapon fire. Uh, let me just set it up to how it's going to look when you first look at it. Uh, this is spawning an actor at the impact point. Uh, normally that only spawns anything that you set in field actor to spawn. Uh, but we are going to take this over and have it spawn a class that we are going to create. So let's create one right now. A new blueprint class, a standard actor, and we'll just call this B weapon hits. Open this guy up. What we're going to need is get rid of these guys, set up a variable that is hit results, change this hit result and we will expose that and expose on spawn so we'll bring in this hit result with the control key uh, and then we will split the struct and now what we want to get from this is we'll first make sure that it is a blocking hit so we're not uh, calling things uh, running extra code when it doesn't need to be run. So we'll check for a blocking hit on a branch. And we also want to check if our component is simulating physics. So we need another branch for that. Okay. So now that we're not uh, going to run code when we don't want to run any code, what we want to run is a add impulse, which we're not going to see unless we turn off context sensitive. So make sure we add impulse at location. OK, now uh, component is our target. Location is an easy one. Hit result impact location or impact point, sorry. Okay, now our impulse is where it gets a little, more, a little bit more complicated. Uh, normally you would get this from your forward uh, looking vector out of your character, but we don't have access to that. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, trace start and we are going to subtract that from our impact point. So that's going to basically give us a backwards vector. Uh, which we then have to subtract a negative one from that to flip it around the other way. Uh, we want to convert this pin to an integer and just set this to negative one. Oh, sorry. We don't want to subtract negative one. We want to multiply uh, by negative one. Okay, and now we are going to multiply this again by an amount which we want to be the force that we're adding. So we'll create that as a float. Uh, we'll promote that to a variable. And we'll just name that impact force. Uh, and then make sure that is exposed. OK, and then we'll drag that up to our impact pulse so we'll compile and save and we'll just set this by uh, default right now to 100 uh, compile that again we'll go back into our ga weapon fire uh, this is what it's going to look like when you first load up you're just going to have this spawning there so we're going to break that and we're going to add our own class here, the class we just created, B Weapon Hits. 
Okay, so now we've got our hit result and impact force there. So we will take our hit result from here, throw it into there. Uh, we could set this here if we want, but I don't think we need to. Uh, we will compile, save, and make sure uh, we've got something to shoot at. So it gets a bit tougher. We'll create a, uh, a shape here. And we'll add some physics to that shape. So if we just simulate physics on a shape, you would uh, assume that things would work. But the issue here is Lyra doesn't uh, trace to our standard physics actor in its uh, trace channels. So I usually just set it to block all. And now... We can go back into here and we can move that around uh, with the 100. If we take this and we uh, adjust our weight and say set that to 10 kilograms instead, then you get some pretty entertaining stuff out of it. That is all it takes. So the main things you got to remember is in your objects that you want to create, enable physics and set your collision presets to block all. Inside your weapon fire, we're going to break this from here. Uh, we can actually fully get rid of this now. And we'll just connect that right there because no point in checking that if we're not going to use it at all. We can take our hit result from here, feed it into our actor in that we created in weapon hits. That's that. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to have a new one on how to add grenades right away. I'll show you a little preview of those guys. They are even more fun than the guns. So that is coming next. And we can do some chaos after that. So stay tuned for more. Have a good night.